Group builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Earth Premium Series International Space Station. And if you're new to the channel, this is the video where we go step by step on how to build all of these models. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we get a brief look at our model, followed by some instructions on how to build it. Then on the right here, we have a QR code, which we can scan to get a 360 look at our model while we're building. This comes in handy when we're putting little bits of detail on. Then over here on the right hand side, we have a difficulty rating here of just over medium. I think though this might be on the trickier side just because of all that small detail that we have to form up here. And then just a little bit lower than that, we have some information on the International Space Station. And finally at the bottom, we can look at some other models in the series. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our metal. Look at this stuff. Those solar panels look really neat. Oh wow, that base is huge too. I think this build might be really big. I can't wait to put it together. Groovers, let's go ahead and get out our first couple of pieces. All right, and there we go. We cut out all of our pieces for steps one through nine. Now, the first thing we're gonna be doing is grabbing part one here and creating a cylinder. Now, one thing to know when it comes to creating these cylinders, if you've never done them before, uh, they can be a little bit tricky. These little lines inside the part here on the back part of it are gonna help us support our cylinder. And you can actually see that said in the instructions, which is kind of interesting. That's something that's been uh, newly placed in there. Now these tools right here are going to help me create some really consistent cylinders and that's important to remember. Um, you know, you don't always need the most perfect cylinders, but consistency is key when it comes to building these kind of models. Now this is a pretty good size and I'm also going to go with a bigger size as well. I'm actually going to take these three ones out like this. And the reason why is we're going to start big and then we're going to go small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my part right here and then I'm going to take my tool and I'm gonna press right up close and I'm gonna press hard. And as I press hard, I'm gonna do that. Now, I don't wanna bend these satellite uh, panels, sorry, correction, solar panels here. Um, so I'm gonna be careful. I just realized that I was kind of doing that. So I'm gonna actually pick up the part and um, I'm gonna fold it around. Now when it comes to doing this, the important thing here is to make sure that you bend every part of the metal. Sometimes when you're pushing your piece into a tool, um, there's little gaps that uh, develop and that's not good, especially when we're trying to make a consistent cylinder. So what I do is I go right up to the edges here and I press them down and I even go on the tab and press that down as well. Okay, bend that back a little bit, bend these panels out of the way. There we go. Now I'm gonna go smaller. And yes, I'm spending some time on this one here. Uh, when we get to the other cylinders, I'm going to speed up that process um, because once you see how one cylinder is made, you kind of get it. There we go. And I'm um, also making sure that this tab is lining up with that insertion hole. Okay. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to hide this tab. So I'm going to uh, just angle this tab down and back a little bit. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow me to make a locking motion in a moment when I use this other shaping tool. So again, I'm gonna to go to the one side here where the insertion hole is, and I'm gonna shape that side first because that's gonna give me that little bit of spacing to get that tab in place. And you might have to come back here and adjust the angle of the tab. There we go. And there's our connection. Okay. Now, what we need to do is secure that tab in place. 
is why it's of detailed tweezers is really good to have here guys because you can reach inside these tabs or inside these parts and secure these tabs way easier if you don't have tab if you don't have tweezers like I have here um, a long set of needle nose pliers will be just as useful here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on the seam and the reason why I'm pressing on the seam is I want to line it up the best I can one and uh, two I want to make sure that we don't have a teardrop shape which actually, if you look here, that's a really nice cylinder shape. Um, you can see that there, really a nice cylinder shape. So if you take your time, you can definitely get it done. Now you can also do it without having shaping tools. That just makes it a lot easier and like I said, more consistent. Um, but uh, when we put this over, we can see if there's any gaps. And it looks like I have a little bit of gapage on the bottom there, so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit. go awesome love it okay let's move on to our next piece here which is going to be part two all of that for part two and uh, we're also going to use part three here as well now if you look at part three what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we're bending this on the engraved side and we're going to create a little box boxes are probably the easiest thing to build here with metal earth okay now, the key again with this build is you really need to make sure everything is straight and aligned if you want the, uh, if you want everything to line up correctly. Okay, there's our little piece. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that little A part and we're gonna place that in here. Now, depending on how well you shape this, it'll be how easy this goes in. You know, a lot of people ask me why I use gloves, and uh, the main reason why I use gloves is just for video consistency. Sometimes I have to stop and come back to these builds, and I might go and do a construction job or something, and my hands might get beat up, and it's just not cool to see weird things happen like that on camera all the time. Now, when you get this piece in here, this is our first uh, kind of attaching part, we're gonna be bending these tabs down and I'm bending them towards the center and um, I really want a tight fit. Um, we don't want any wobble with this piece, right? So we wanna make sure that we're doing this correctly. Now that's done, we can attach this onto our first bit here. Now with these, you might find yourself kind of having to uh, push those together a little bit more. Um, you may have to bend and shape a little bit to get this to work. Don't worry, that's okay. There we go. And these are also secured with a bend. I'm going to try to bend this towards part three. There really isn't a great place to secure. You know what I'll do? I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to twist and then I'm going to press down. There we go. That's better. I like that. Okay, cool. Now that is attached and really secure. Now with part four, what we wanna make sure we're doing is we're holding this correctly. Uh, we're gonna make sure that that's a, that's a key part here. And we're gonna make sure that the non-engraved side is facing us and we're going to place it. Great. Now this detail again also gets uh, bent down. Now um, I think we have a little bit more room here so I'm gonna bend them towards the outside and I'm gonna maybe bend one towards the, no, you know what? I'm gonna bend them all towards the outside. Where's my tab bending tool here? This is a cool little tool. This tool is really good for really securing your pieces down. Um, you would never believe a little piece of metal like this is great, but it really, truly is. It's really good for twisting tabs and uh, also kind of helpful when it comes to shaping some pieces. You can find this uh, on Amazon and on Wish and a few other places if you if you keep your eyes out for it. I'll leave that there. All right, that is part four attached. Now we can move on to part five. Again, another cylinder. Now this cylinder here, I'm going to um, do the same way like I did before. I'm going to start big. And this actually looks like it might be uh, not big enough. So we're even going to go bigger. This is a dapping set. This is a dapping tool typically used for making domes but uh, really good for this too now if you don't have again if you don't have these tools at home you can 
definitely look around your home and find things that can help you make some cylinders. I'm sure at looking at this video uh, and looking at the sizes of these cylinders, there's some pens you could probably use. Uh, Crayola markers are really good. If you have a drill set, uh, drill bit set, those are perfect for this um, because you can use the different drill bit sizes and really get some consistent cylinders. Okay, I think that's actually really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a little bit of a teardrop right here, but the way that I'm hiding the tabs, um, you might almost have to have a little bit of a teardrop. Okay, connect this on. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that all of my seams are in the same place. So um, I recommend that. It just, again, makes the whole piece look nicer. When you're bending these tabs, it's really important that you get as much of the tab in your tweezers as possible. This makes sure that your pieces are really connected well together. And uh, I can't overstate the importance of that to not have rickety pieces, especially because we're folding so many of these ones. Um, if you get even just one misshapen, you're, you're kind of almost done for. Okay, I don't want to push too much on the detail there, but that looks pretty good. All right, let's move on to our next step here, which is going to be adding part six on. This is step two now. I be careful, there's that little bit of detail down here and I keep accidentally smushing it. And if I keep doing that, you know what? I'm gonna leave it smushed for right now. And then afterwards, I'll go back and fix it. And the reason why, um, if I keep pressing that, that little bit of detail is gonna fall off. Cool. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna move on to our first kind of dome shape. Now dome shapes are pretty simple to do. If you have a um, spoon at home, this makes this piece really easy to do. What we're gonna go for is uh, with this little bit of a point, actually let's use this one, we're gonna just curl it. So just pressing into the piece, whoop, just like that. And we have a pretty good little, uh, little cone shape. Now again, it's very important that we bend every part of the metal. So when I'm going around here and doing my little my little turn, whoops, if I can get it to go there. There we go, just kind of rolling it, trying to show the camera there. Rolly, rolly, poly. You get a decently shaped cone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of attach this first and then um, maybe go about attaching it together. Let's just make sure that I have a decently sized uh, piece here. I'm gonna twist these ones. We'll see if I actually need to bend them or not um, when it comes time. Okay, there we go. And I've also taken the liberty of uh, bending these tabs in anticipation that we're gonna have to do that. Okay, that assembly's finished. Let's move on to our next step. That's step three, where we start working on a, another piece of the space station. Now the first thing that we're going to do with this particular piece is we're going to try to get that really nice cylinder and again we're going to start big and work our way small. So starting at the tip, I'm just kind of rolling the piece into my tool and uh, I did almost get a little bit of a hot spot there again because in the center there there's a little bit of detail and uh, that detail really likes to bend first so you gotta be careful of that all right i'm gonna bend the solar panel out of the way and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our two pieces together so uh what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna bend these insertion holes slightly inward and then that way i have a fighting chance of getting my tabs into their insertion hole They do provide extra pieces of um, this particular part. And I think that's because a lot of people are gonna struggle with it. This is just not an easy piece to get together. I think by focusing on uh, one at a time, one side at a time is probably best. Holy crow, that was not easy. That was not easy at all. I'm not very impressed with the uh, shaping of the cylinder here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove my uh, shaping tool in here and try to round it out the best I possibly can. 
Um, this is really the best thing you can do when you have a situation like this. Um, that, that was just a really hard piece to form. If you don't have detailed tweezers, I, honestly, I don't know how you're going to form this piece correctly because that was just, that was monumentally hard. Cool. Now with this step complete, we can move on to grabbing part nine. Okay. And these are attached with a nice little twist. I think this is our first twist of the build. Technically our second if you want to count the first cylinders. Okay, there we go. All nice and attached. Now we can move on to our next step, which is step four, and that starts us out with a really easy to do cylinder. Now, just like before, let's, uh, let's do a cylinder correctly. There we go, our cone complete. Put that guy right here. Now we can grab our next two pieces, which is part 11. With part 11, we're gonna take it and we're gonna throw this one, our booster here. We're gonna put our booster right here. Okay, and now that we have that detail attached, we are going to just marry this little piece up here. Okay, it almost looks like a little miniature camera, doesn't it? And uh, now we're going to bend this little piece back here. That's the tab, and this is where we start forming our piece. Now, uh, we're basically making a little tower here on top, and what I like to do is bend one side and then match the corners up as I go. So right here, for instance, we're gonna match that corner up. There we go. And finally, this last one, if you do it all right and you do it consistently, you should have a really nice little kind of uh, square here at the top. And that square should have no gaps. That's a very important thing. And you want everything to line up too. So I'm just gonna press it like that so I get a nice square piece. See, very nice and square. Same thing for the bottom. We're gonna bend uh, one side down first. We're gonna do that one right there. And then we're gonna match it up with the other sides. And then finally, there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab these little tabs in the center because you know as well as I do, these will eventually be attached to something. Okay, that is this piece right here, pretty much almost all done. We need to add parts 13 and 14 on. So some of you out there might be realizing that when I am twisting my tabs, I'm twisting one clockwise and the other one counterclockwise. The reason why I'm doing this is it actually helps keep the piece nice and center. If you twist both the same way, you'll find that the piece slightly goes to the left or slightly goes to the right depending on the direction. And while that may not be a big deal on some pieces, when you start attaching them together and getting multiple things on there, that's when things can get a little bit tricky. Okay, now that we have these two pieces attached, we can move on to the next step here because we got our assembly finished. We can go on to step five, which is actually attaching all the pieces that we've made so far together. So let's take this guy right here, which is our satellite back. And uh, let's take our next assembly that we made here. And what we're gonna do is just attach these two guys together, matching up those insertion holes. Now again, um, what I'm gonna try to do is make sure that if I have anything that I want to be hidden on the bottom, it's gonna follow that seam line that we've already established, okay? And there is our assemblies all nice and attached. Now, let's move on to step six. Let's grab part 15 here. And with part 15, it's a very simple little capping here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just grab my bigger tool with this piece here, the engraved side is the one that does not have the small little lines on the long pieces on either side. Just an FYI, very easy to make that mistake. Now what I'm gonna do is close that up. And there we go. Just kind of work that a little bit. There we go, very nice. Now normally I don't like to close those until we've attached them on. It's because you can actually use that cap as a holder. You'll see in a moment, it makes it life a lot easier. But I didn't do that this time. Um, if you don't want to cap it, don't cap it. Now with our next piece here, this is part 16. We're gonna take 16 and we're gonna place this right on top. 
And like I said, usually it's a little easier if you keep the uh, top cap off. Um, just makes it easier to place the tabs into their proper positions. I did not do that, so now I'm going to suffer the consequences. Let's do one of these. Tuck her in there, go around, make a nice shape. Awesome. Now that we have this little tiny shaping, we can move on to shaping part 17. This is a cylinder again. You guys know how to do the cylinders by now. You're becoming cylinder pros with this build. And uh, so let's just fast forward to where I already have it completed. And now, I'm just gonna play with that a little bit. There we go. Awesome, we have our cylinder. Now let's put this guy down here and move on to step seven. Step seven has us building this really interesting piece with part 18. Now, 18 might look a little bit uh, daunting, and to be totally honest, it, it does look a little daunting, but we'll get it done together, don't worry. Now, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is shape the cylinder here along the bottom. And the way we're gonna do that is the same way we've bent every other cylinder. Grab our little shaping tool here. Ooh, too big, or too small, let's go big. Now that I got this bent here, I'm just uh, shaping these edges the best I possibly can. Keep in mind, uh, we you know you are still following that same principle. We want to make sure that we have no gaps, and uh, we might need to adjust our cylinder. That's totally okay. Uh, we have this bottom area here. We can see there's a little bit of misshaping, and that's because of that little bit of an angle. Uh, but we can get that sorted out really quickly. It's really just this one side here that's flat. So what we're going to do is take our little shaping tool here, insert it, and then we're going to push it into that side and that's going to help get a really uh, good shape. Just be careful not to take your tab out of place. It's a easy thing to do especially when you've already shaped it down. Like see right there it almost came out so I'm going to push it down again. Decently shaped cylinder. Now we can move on to the next piece here which has us bending this kind of awkwardly um, shaped area here. Now what we're going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start bringing it out like this. And um, eventually what happens here is we're gonna make another cylinder. Um, but we have to kind of bend each one of these little tops. The way that I'm gonna do that is kind of bring the, bring the piece here out of the way of this top part, and that's gonna allow me to get that. So let's try that here. You know what I'm also gonna do? I'm actually gonna use two pairs of tweezers to help me with this as well. So I'll grab grab it like that go back to the other side here and you can see how it almost already kind of started bending because I bent the one side um, but we need to actually get it uh, consistent so we're gonna actually physically bend them okay there we go and now that we have that little area there, uh, we can actually make the cylinder ball that we have to make. Now this will be interesting to see um, how well this actually goes. And again, the key here is to make sure that every part of the metal is bent. You don't want any one cylinder not to have a bend in it because it will be almost impossible to get it to shape once it's connected. That little bit of string detail next to our tab, I'm gonna bend out of the way just for a few moments. And again, I'm going to connect this one normally. I'm not going to try to hide the tab here. Um, just because we're dealing with so much sensitive detail with this piece. And there is our connection with that. Now I'm just going to kind of shape this a little bit. And now I'm going to place that like that. And now we're going to do the top cylinder. Okay, just like before. But what I'm going to do before I actually form the cylinder is I'm gonna go ahead and shape these little bottom um, bits of detail. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is in theory, if I bend them just at the right angle, they should meet up at the bottom without me having to go back and shape them. Now I, I do expect a little bit of shaping, but not much. Now let's grab this little bit here. And just like all the other ones before, being very careful not to grab those solar panels. Okay, now that I got that cylinder kind of shaped the way I want it to, I'm gonna come back to this little ball here, and uh, I'm using my pliers to really kind of drive home the shapes that I want with the detail as well. Now I can also grab that detail from earlier, 
line it up the way I want it to, and um, that really does make a difference. Now, that cylinder on the top does look really good. I'm just going to kind of grab here and shape just a little bit more. Um, I did do my best to do the top shaping there. That was difficult. Um, now that we got this though, we're gonna go ahead and bend this down. Now, uh, I'm going to go like this to do that. Awesome. And what we're gonna do now is grab the long piece here of our solar panel and we're going to bend them in. Now we should have done this earlier with our first bit there and I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna go back and grab them in a second and do it. But that is how you do this. Just trying to really marry up these pieces here as straight as I can. I don't want anything kind of overhanging or being a little lopsided. There we go, that looks really awesome. That really does. Now uh, let's go ahead and place this right here for right now, because what we're about to do is attach some more stuff to our space station. So let's grab our main piece here, and we're gonna grab that little cylinder that we made. And the first thing we're gonna do is attach that little cylinder to that top piece, uh, that little platform at the top. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna place my cylinder, or uh, my seam facing away. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and fix these little back guys here. Might as well do that, because we're here. Okay. There, that's all nice and fixed now. Um, so now we can add on the next piece of detail onto our model, which is that lower half. Um, this is actually an escape pod here. So um, let me make sure that I'm doing this again correctly. Okay, and there we go. That is now added on. We can place that just right here. That was really simple. Now we move on to step nine, uh, which has us bending some interesting pieces. Let's grab this piece right here. This is so odd. I must say, that is, that's a pretty crazy looking piece. But uh, the first thing we're gonna be doing is actually shaping the back of it, and we're gonna be doing the long ways. Um, so let's start big here again. And again, we're going up and down the piece here. Um, to make sure that we are getting every little bend that we possibly can. And again, uh, be very careful not to get a hot spot right there in the middle. It definitely wants to do that. Okay, there we go. One first piece there. Let's grab our top part, which is going to be part 20, and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna actually curve everything down and uh, make sure that engraved side is on the outside there. Whoops. Again, all those little tiny lines kind of go in the middle. I am doing my best here not to have that hot spot in the center. It really wants to develop there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, now what we're gonna do, I don't like those little gaps at the end there, but we'll fix that in a moment. Now what we're gonna do is attach these guys onto the lower half, making sure that we match up our sides appropriately. Let's start with the one side and we'll work our way over. There we go. That is step nine, all complete. Now, let's put this down here because, well, we need more parts. Okay, our nippers are away, so now we can begin to build more of our International Space Station. Now what we're gonna be doing first is grabbing part number 21. That's this guy right here, it's got a giant X. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is bending down all of this detail. Now, doing this detail can be a little bit tricky because it's so thin. My suggestion is to use multiple sets of tweezers with these kind of parts, and that'll help everything kind of stay symmetrical. Okay. 
Now let's grab this little area here. Let's start by bending all of this down. If you notice, I'm going right to the edge with this. It's very important to do that. Just bang this side material here. There's a slight bend in this, and uh, I'm going to do that with my tweezers. And if you do it right, it should match up perfectly with either of those sides. And again, you shouldn't see any gaps. So if you do, you just got to put a little bit more of a bend on it, and you should be good to go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now I think that's our one side at least bent there. Let's do this a couple more times here. Match up that right there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I like it. All right, there we go. Now, I, this one here, I probably need to move up a little more. But we'll find out as we go and put everything together. All right, that looks pretty neat. I think it looks good. I mean, overall, it looks nice. Now we gotta do something a little bit more complicated. We're gonna take the uh, piece here that we've built from before, and we're gonna insert it in the center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to orientate this to the side that I want to make sure that I'm going to be working on here. And uh, now we kind of close everything around um, this piece. This is a very interesting... Okay, there's actually little insertion holes. So we're going to do that. Okay. I got to admit, Metal Earth, this is an interesting one. Okay, just gonna set those guys inside. There we go. Now those are all installed properly and secured. Very interesting piece. It almost reminds me of something from Mass Effect. Anyway, kind of cool. Let's put this down here for right now. We're gonna grab parts 22, which is this little purple piece right here. And uh, this looks fairly interesting. What I'm going to try to do is mimic what I see on the instructions. So it looks like this goes like, like that. That's kind of how they want you to go. Okay. Now, this one goes in the center. And it gets secured with a twist. And I'm going to use my uh, my tab bending tool to twist this here. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit more sharper, just because I don't like that little like I don't like those bends. I like to have a really crisp, uh, like kind of sharp square. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit twisted there just because I kind of messed up that piece in the beginning because I didn't understand what was going on. But now that I do, we're all good to go. Uh, let's grab this little guy here. Again, we're gonna bend this one down and we're gonna bend the other one up. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna insert this one on the middle. Okay, now these uh, these guys here are a little bit harder to get exactly perfect, and that's because those little tiny uh, little imperfections that might be in the metal that when you're bending them might exist. That's why it's very important to go right down to the edge when we're bending these pieces, and that will ensure that you're gonna get the, uh, the best connection possible. Now I'll do this again here. All right, push that back. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna push these guys back now where they were. I'm sure a little bit later those will come in handy. All right, that's that piece done. Let's put that down. Let's grab our next little bit here. Now part 24, uh, it might look a little complicated, but if you do one little bit at a time, you'll find that it almost builds itself. Now the first thing we're gonna be doing with this particular piece is we're going to take this little edge 
and we're going to bend it down. Same thing with this here. Now with the little bits of detail that are on here, we're going to try to match up those edges and make it all symmetrical like we've done before. I'm uh, pre-bending that little tab there, and that's because when I push this down, it will already be bent. See? Nice and simple. Is bending this square. Just like this. Now what we're gonna do is bring this little back guy around here. And we're gonna connect these tabs right here in the back. Now the key here is to make sure that when you bend that tab, that you don't accidentally block one of the other little insertion holes. That would not be good. Not be good at all. Um, this top piece here, I'm gonna bend a little bit before I actually place it down, and that's gonna help me get a nice little look. Uh, this is very squished, so I'm gonna unsquish it. There we go. All nice and lined up. I didn't wanna move forward until I had this completely secured. But now that we have this secure, we're gonna leave it the way it is and we're gonna move on to our next piece, which is part 12. So we're gonna place that right there and move on to this. Now this looks very similar to what we've done before already. So I've already bothered you guys with it. You already know how it's done. Let's go ahead and fast forward to where I have it complete. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good too. All right, so with part 25 all complete, now it's time to move on to step 13, which involves us kind of putting everything together that we've been building over the last couple of steps. So let's go ahead and put this down here and grab our assembly from earlier. This is step 10 here, and we're also gonna grab step 11. And now what we're gonna do is combine uh, these two guys. Now, like I said before, we need to, uh, I'm gonna try to bring these guys in a little bit better. Okay. And now that we have that like this, we need to install these two guys together. This is a little bit more trickier, I think, though, um, than I was expecting here. Let me see. Um, cool. That is all attached and looking pretty good. That was hard. I must say, that was not an easy thing to do at all. You would think that this would be a little easier, but no. Um, these little pieces definitely make things a little bit more challenging. Okay, let's grab this little tiny guy here. This is part 26. What we're gonna do is bend this in half, and I'm gonna grab one of the tabs, and I'm gonna bend that slightly down. And what that's gonna do is make it a lot easier for me to be able to insert this piece uh, right here on top. There we go. Awesome. That's how we add that little bit of detail on there. And now we get to put part 14 on this little tiny guy right here. And this uh, kind of goes on the bottom, but this is where we actually close up this lower half. And um, let me see if I can get this bent correctly. There we go. Okay, I think that's all that connected. Now we gotta move to put this little piece here underneath. Again, I'm trying to make sure that we're being consistent with where all of our seams are. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I gotta be careful with these uh, little solar panels here. I'm worried about them. I don't want them to get too uh, rickety and actually break on me. I could see that happening. Now I'm gonna place this right here for right now and I'm gonna grab part 27. 27 here uh, gets attached on to the lovely end right here. Of course, let's put it on the right way here first. Might help if we do that. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Uh, now we get to attach it to our main piece here. Now this is where we need to grab these little tabs here and we're gonna bend them inward.
Now, I know you're saying to yourselves, why did he do that? Why did he secure the tabs like that? And the reality of it is, I'm just trying to get everything set up. Once we come back, I'm gonna go over all of my tabs at the end of the build, and I'm gonna make corrections to things that I don't like. Okay, now that is this whole assembly attached together, and I'm not gonna lie, um, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. But um, overall, I think we're doing very well. Let's go ahead and place this down here for right now. I'm gonna place it upside down so those pieces don't get stressed. And let's go ahead and work on the next few pieces with step 14. Now with step 14, uh, we're gonna take our little bit here. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually attach the detail. I think this is the easier way of doing things. So let's go ahead and grab part 29 here. We're gonna fold all these down just like this. This is very easy, it's a box, simple box. Just a simple box, cool. Now we're gonna grab this little guy here. this little guy here um, now these pieces are a little bit funky um, the smaller one here which is part 30 um, what we're going to do is bend back these two areas here this is where the connector is so you get a nice little square and then we're gonna cone the tops now arguably maybe we should have cone that first but you know we uh, we make our bed we lay in it Okay, both of our dishes are on now, and we can now start forming our actual parts. Now, normally, like I said before, it tells you to bend everything first. Personally, I don't like to do that. It is it's a lot easier to be able to put all of our detail on before we actually commit to the shape uh, than it is if we just kind of loosely do it. Also, try connecting those little tabs there at the bottom once you have this completely formed. It's a lot harder than if you do it beforehand, too. Okay. There we go, our basic shape, looking pretty neat. Now this little shape here we're gonna put to the side and we're gonna move on to step 15. Now step 15 has a ton of detail going on to it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this once and then I'm gonna skip to where I have them already attached on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these little pieces here and we're gonna make a simple little box. But we're gonna grab the pieces that don't have tabs first and bend those first to uh, shape this box. They are the shorter bits and now the longer bits that and there's that cool there we go and just going to kind of move that into position left and right okay there's our first box. Now we're gonna do this a few more times. Let's go ahead and skip to where I have this already completed. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take this around and just like that. Now, mind you, what I should have done here is maybe um, before I actually attached all of these pieces, the smart thing would have been to go ahead and uh, well, I think the smart thing would have been to go ahead and just make sure that this is completely bent, but I didn't do that and instead I actually waited. So there is some positives and some negatives to waiting and attaching that detail ahead of time. If you would have pre-bent that, it would have been okay, but I didn't pre-bend it, so shame on me. Alrighty, there is our piece. That looks pretty good and I'm all ready to go. Put that to the side. And now let's move on to step 16. This is a pretty simple step here. We're down to our last couple of pieces. Um, now this one actually has us uh, shaping a piece here and attaching it after we have a cylinder. 
Now, these kinds of details are, are difficult because the, uh, the cylinder has to be bent properly in order for this detail to sit properly um, and to seat properly in its space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pre-bend this little guy here. And um, I'm going to try my best to get this done correctly. Let's go ahead and just try to get a good forming started here. There we go. There is that all connected. Not an easy piece by any means to get together. And again, um, even trying to shape this guy into a cylinder is kind of hard because it's such a tiny little piece. But now that we have successfully completed it, it's time to get more parts. There we go, our cutters are away and we have all of our parts needed for step 17 through 20. Now with step 17, we start by grabbing part 36 here. And similar to what we've done before, we're gonna go around and we're gonna form all of these little petals down. This is actually just a bigger scale than the ones we've done already. You start with one and then you just match up all of the sides. It's a pretty straightforward piece. And there we go. We match all of our petals and that part is looking awesome. Now what we need to do is go ahead and attach the um, previous piece that we built here, this little guy. All right, now we need to grab the last little bit that we did and uh, this one should go in pretty easily too, especially because we have a pretty good circle here. Boom, I know those are kind of famous last words, but there we go. See, not bad at all. Now, I'm gonna twist these, and later on, I might come back and bend them over, but for right now, we're gonna do a twist. Cool, that looks awesome. All right, let's put that side down now. Now we go on to another cylinder, and just like before, we've done a couple of these cylinders already, um, so I'm not gonna go ahead and waste your time with this, so let's go ahead and fast forward to where the cylinder is properly made. Ba part 38. Pretty simple, like I said before. Now we move on to part 39. This one here requires us to make a cone shape. Uh, pretty simple thing to do, especially when you have a coning tool here. Okay, there we go. Bend that down. Awesome. I think that looks pretty good. And it's, uh, it's pretty coney too. Pretty happy with it. Let's move on to the next little bit where we're going to be adding this on to part 40. Alright, with these two parts put together, we can put it onto our main piece here, part 38. And then we'll be done step 18. Ta-da! All finished. And that looks pretty good too. Let's go ahead and put this down. And now we can move on to parts 41 through 43 in step 19. And there we go. I'm gonna take these little guys out here. I'm gonna pop out the tabs now that are on the inside. Typically, this is easier to do before shaping, but in this case here, I wanted to wait a little bit. Whew, that little piece there was not easy, and I'll let you know that right now. That was tricky, but we got her in there regardless. We got that first little piece in there. Now we need to get part 43 in there. Let's see if we can get this little piece here done. Okay, and there we go. Got that piece attached. That was not easy. I think it was maybe because I accidentally got these guys reversed. So maybe there's a right way to put this on and a wrong way to put this on. Uh, okay, now that we got this all finally attached and doesn't seem to be wobbly. Oh, I mean my, uh, my top piece there is a little bit wobbly. 
And you know what? I don't have to keep the tabs bent here. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do a little maneuver here with my, um, with my tweezers here, which will allow me to get this back up. <laughs> so by doing this little twist, and then uh, doing a little bit of a bend down. This makes this piece very sturdy, as you can see, but it also keeps the tabs out of the way. This is very useful when you're attaching little bits of a detail like this guy right here. There we go. And let's add that little bit of bottom detail now. Okay, and now with that done, we need to make another cylinder here. So let's get that done. There we go, another cylinder down there. And we're gonna attach this guy right on to the bottom. There we go. Looking cool, looking cool. Now we need to add on our second little bit of detail here. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to keep that cylinder shape, but it's kind of hard to do, I'm not gonna lie. Now let's add that last little bit of detail on here. And this goes facing down apparently, so we're gonna do that. Awesome, there we go. And now I'm just gonna try to line that up a little bit better by moving the pieces around. I think overall though, that looks really nice. And now we get to attach it onto our main space station piece. I'm actually really excited. The more that we add on to this, the more that we start to see it actually coming together. And I really do like seeing these projects come together like this. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to make sure that these dishes here are both facing um, the correct way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mimic um, just like this. And there we go. That guy is all attached and looking pretty. And uh, now we just need to move on to step 20, which has us bending some very interesting shapes. I'm gonna try to bend this like that or kind of leave it like that. I shouldn't say bend it, just leave it like that. All right, now let's get over here. This is really simple. This is a bunch of boxes. So first, let me show you what the boxes are. We'll move on from there. You know, really step 45, or sorry, the part 45 here, and we're just gonna angle it and keep it at this uh, place here. This is properly orientated to the page. And then we're gonna grab this little dome here and we're gonna shape this properly. Now I do have some things I could use to shape this, but it's such a small piece. I'm just gonna use my tweezers to get it done. Again, I'm gonna match all of the sides here. I wanna make sure that we have as little gaps as possible when it comes to forming our pieces. And um, when you're freehanding a dome shape, it's very important to make sure that each petal matches the border of the previous one that you bent. And that's how you know you got a good shape. There we go. We have our first one finished. Now this dome shape here goes on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what I'm doing here is I did a little twist and a bend there. And that's really gonna secure that piece in there really nice and tight. Now for the rest of these, we have just elongated boxes. So once I do one, you should really understand how to do the rest of them. Uh, let's just go ahead and skip to where I'm just gonna put all the boxes on. Okay, and there we go. All of our boxes are connected. All of our tabs are pushed in as well. We're looking pretty good. Now all we need to do is just bend these little side bits here. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is grab that little center piece and bend it too. And 
then right over. Right. And there we go, all complete. Now I'm gonna put this down here, and we need more parts. Okay, and there we go. We have all of our parts needed for steps 21 through 26. Now, one thing I can see right away with this is that we're doing a lot of the repeated detail. We're doing a lot of small, little tiny uh, boxes here, and we're gonna be putting them onto these little flat pieces, very similar to what we did before. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a couple of pieces, and then I'm gonna fast forward to where I have the majority of this completed. Um, I probably will skip most of 22 and 23, unless there's something that stands out there. Um, but for the most part, a lot of this is the same stuff we've already done already. So there's no need for me to waste your time showing you how to bend some boxes. So let's go ahead and get started bending some boxes uh, with uh, part number 52 here. Now my suggestion is always to grab one long side and then bend uh, either of the edges and then grab the other side here. There we go, our first little box done. Now this is kind of a rounded box. Um, kind of the reason why I wanted to show you this one here, because it does stand out. I think there's one other piece here that does that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow that edge. And then you get to a point and you're gonna bend this straight down, just like that. Let's see if I can show you on camera a little bit better. So again, we're going to take this edge here and we're just going to bend it down, matching the edge of our piece, just like that. Okay? And then we're going to take this little, uh, little tiny bit here, right to where the fold line is, and we're going to bend that down, just like that. And if everything is lined up perfectly, you should see no gaps. There you go. Good job. Now, uh, I'll put this one down here, and uh, we move on to these little bits here which have the dishes on from before now I'm gonna wait to form these dishes until they're actually inserted um, just because I want to make sure I'm folding them the correct way if you feel comfortable go ahead and bend them now it won't hurt okay there we go cool Put that right there. And now we move on to the next piece, which has pretty much just doing the same thing. Uh, this time though, I'm gonna go ahead and bend this little guy like this. And I'm also gonna bend this little top piece down like that. So I already have my cube. And I will make sure that when I go and secure these uh, bits of detail I'm gonna be placing in here, that I go and I actually secure the ones closest to the bent edges first. They're gonna be the hardest ones to get in, of course. Now let's grab our first little bit of detail here. This is going to be uh, part 47. So uh, this is this guy right here. Okay, and there we go. Step 24, right on. Those were a little bit challenging. I'm definitely tired of all the boxes. And now we need to move back over to the cylinder pieces here with part 68. I've already kind of started shaping this one. What we need to do is get that really nice, uh, really nice cylinder shaping use a uh, little bit of a bigger tool here and there we go awesome now this bottom here doesn't look as uh, as cylindrical as the top here so we're gonna just play around a little bit with it and uh, touch that seam up and there we go see very easy very easy to correct now we're going to go and attach on part 69 kind of hiding there for a moment. Push these little tabs here flat. And there we go. I'm gonna need a new glove here in a moment. This one's getting all chewed up from all those small little details we were doing. I keep having to tighten up my gloves. I think I've lost weight, which is a good thing, uh, but uh, my pleasantly plump hands are now getting uh, pleasantly skinnier. Now let's uh, move on to the next phase of our shaping here. And what we're gonna do by that is just bend this like this and then bend that back. Alrighty, now that that's like that, 
Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bend these pieces up 90 degrees and then we're going to bring this in and then we're also going to bring this in as well. So that basically covers the um, tab that we have in there. So again, bringing this up, we're going to drill the roof down, bend the roof down, and then we're going to bring around the uh, back end piece just like so. Awesome. That looks great. That really does look great. And I'm happy to be done with this cylinder. Now I'm going to put that down and guess what we do? We move on to another cylinder. That's right. With part 70 here. Uh, now part 70, again, let's just make a really nice cylinder first and then we'll worry about the detail that we need to form on it. Okay. So uh, let's go around here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm not too sure exactly why this piece is formed this way. Uh, it's very interestingly formed, I will say that. Um, now that I have a nice little cylinder here though, I'm going to um, just bend these little tabs up. Okay. Last little bit of detail for this page here. And what's really nice about this piece, this is part 71, is that uh, when it comes to actually placing it it will help you with the cylinder and know if you got the right shaping or not. There we go. Cool. Bend these tabs down. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, well, with all of our pieces here connected, now we need more parts. All right, there we have it. Our parts needed for steps 27 and 28. Now, a lot of this is, again, more boxes, which I've already gone and already bent here, as you can see. And uh, we have a few more cylinders here as well, so I'm gonna skip through those as well. But let's go ahead and start building some of the steps so you can see how it goes together. So what we're gonna do is grab part 72, and we're also gonna grab uh, part 73 here. That's that long piece, and we're gonna look at the detail, and we're gonna match it up, place it in like we've done before. Man, you know, sometimes these little bits of detail, what you need to do is just slightly bend uh, one of the tabs. And what that allows it to do is you put one side in and then because the other one's slightly bent, uh, you can get the other tab in really easily. Um, you just need a slight bend though. You don't need a big one. Like I actually overbent this tab. So now I'm gonna lift it just a little bit and it should slide right in just like that. See, that's a trick. You can use it. Um, why I didn't use it earlier, I don't understand. That's silly, I guess. There we go. That little bit of detail is now complete. That looks kind of cool. I, I really do like all this little etching that's on this and all these little pieces when they all come together really do look nice. Okay, let's put this over here now and work on our next piece, which is going to be part 77. And with part 77, uh, we're going to be adding that little bit of detail. I've already actually uh, bent this one here. So it's a matter of just making sure that you put it on in the proper orientation. Okay, now we've secured that little bit of detail in the middle there. Now we need to add on the Canadian arm. Let's do that. Now, does one side of this have a little bit of detail on it or they look exactly the same? You know what, to me, they look exactly the same, so I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna just bend this little box here at the bottom, grabbing that little bit of detail right there, and then the tab. There we go. There's our little arm. Now I insert the tab closest to the detail that we've already installed before. Again, this is just to make things a little bit easier for myself. Um, it's always better to grab the tab that's exposed, right? So if we put the one that we know is the hardest in first, uh, then we know that we can get the other ones in by using a detailed tweezer pair like this. Uh, this is a 15 and that will uh, help us get everything secured correctly. Awesome. 
And uh, now what we're gonna do is after we've attached this stuff, we need to attach it to the original bit of detail that we were just working on. That's that little square that we bent, if you remember correctly. And we've done a lot of squares, but that one was already attached to uh, part 75. Now what we're gonna do is just put this little guy right in here. Okay, there we go. Nice and secure. That's going nowhere. Uh, what I did with this is I did a little uh, twist first and then I folded it down after. Once I know this is on correctly and I'm not going to be taking it off, you can really uh, kind of wrench down on those tabs and this piece will not go anywhere and it's going to stay straight. And that's the key to everything here. If it's not tight, this whole thing will become rickety and it won't be straight when we display it, which it kind of takes away from the model at the end. So you really do have to take your time with these smaller bits because once everything is together and when you're putting it all together, I mean, you really don't have any opportunity to go back and adjust some of the smaller bits of detail. All right, let's work on our cylinder here. This is part 80 and uh, you can see that one side has nothing and the other side has a whole bunch of engraving. We want to use this side here on the outside. So let's grab our little shaping tool here. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is once I get one tab in, I'm going to secure it. That way, um, once I get the other one in, it will be good too. These tabs are a little bit harder to get in because they're like multi-stage. You have the you have um, the bend, and then you have that little you have the leaf that you have to match up first, and then you have the tab that you also have to match up, which is a little bit more difficult. Uh, when it comes to uh, installing the piece and, and I gotta say like when it comes to putting these parts together um, Getting these tabs in their spot is going to be the tricky part especially when we're putting uh, tubes on top of tubes here You know that is not an easy piece to do and I think a lot of people are going to struggle with that one Okay uh, now that we got this on, we need to attach the next bit of detail, which is the other part that we've worked on here. That's that Canadian arm part. And um, I'm going to start at the top and then get the other side. That was pretty easy. Okay. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now I can adjust that up. And there we have it. Step 27, all complete. Another little bit of our uh, space station with a Canadian arm. Love it. Now, uh, let's put this over here. And we can move on to our next step, which has us building another, uh, well, another big cylinder. And we also have those little tiny bit of tabs that we need to pop out on this one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make the cylinder and then pop these out, which is probably the best option. Okay. Now, this is the part where I realize I made a mistake. And that mistake was I actually closed this up before installing the uh, window piece that's supposed to go on the inside. Now, could this make my life a lot harder? Probably. And I don't recommend doing what I'm about to do, but uh, because I think I have the skill and know-how, I'm going to try to install this thing um, kind of backwards. Let's see if I can do it. What we need to do is bend this little detail up like that. So the other side, same kind of dealio, bend that up just like that. Okay, cool. Now, so can that be done? Yes. Is it advisable? No. You don't want to be that kind of guy, do you? I don't think so. Alrighty. There we go. That little window's installed and looking pretty sweet. Uh, now we need to move on to the next little bit of detail, but we have to do some uh, work first. Now, this particular piece here is part 83, and this piece right here is part 84. What we're going to do is uh, just bend this around like this, and that creates us a nice little box. Excellent. That back end there has been a little bit warped up a little bit. Uh, so I'm just gonna do one of these little guys, just kind of making her a little bit more rounded. And uh, I'll round her out even more when I, uh, before I put everything 
to close it all up. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is add on the little bits of detail that need to go on either side. These are parts 42, and they look identical, but what we're going to be doing is attaching the centers um, to these pieces. Uh, not easy, and it also wants us to use the non-engraved side facing towards the out. Um, I don't really think it matters, to be honest with you, but hey, it does tell you to do that. There we go. Those two pieces are now added and secured pretty tightly. The question is, how will they line up over time? Now, uh, let's keep moving on here. Let's get to part 85, another piece of a Canadian arm. And uh, this gets connected to the bottom here. And again, uh, we do see a little bit of detail on this side. So what I'm going to do is uh, bend with that detail in mind. I'm going to match this up real quickly to see how it all goes together. And then what we do is just kind of bend this guy down here. And then we can go down and we can manipulate this guy a little bit later. Very cool. I love the little Canadian arms and stuff they have. A little bit of details in this model are really cool. I will say that. Now it's cone time again. We know what the cones are. We need to build this little one here on the front and we're going to use our coning tool to try to do that here. Let's see. These smaller pieces do quite the number on your gloves, but I tell you, I still prefer to wear the gloves just for consistency. Okay, now that we have that in place, we can take this uh, little piece here where we gotta place our cone and just like before, put her in place, right in the center. There we go. And now we attach this onto our arm. There we go. Our assembly is uh, pretty much complete there, looking pretty good. Uh, now we just need to add on a last little bit of detail, and uh, that's this guy right here. And this goes on the back. Sometimes to get these tabs down, you really just need to force them in there. Okay, there we go. Now with that complete, we can add the two sides that we've done from earlier. So let me just put this into the proper orientation, which is like this, okay? And actually this arm goes the opposite way. I did that the wrong way. So let me just do that quickly, like, like these. Alright, now with this complete, let's go ahead and add on our detail that we built from earlier. There we go. All of our pieces are together and that looks awesome. I mean, just look at these pieces and it's straight too, which is very important. Uh, now that everything is tight and put together, we need more parts. And there we go, we have all of our parts needed for steps 29 through 32. We start by grabbing part 87 here, and uh, what we're going to notice is that one side has a no detail, and the other side has a ton of detail. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, right now I'm going to keep this, you know what, uh, we're going to go ahead and bend it. There we go. All right, that's our little bend there. And now what we need to do is install all of this little minute details. We start with part 88 here. And 88 is a tiny little bugger. Now, if you don't have detailed tweezers like me, this might even be a little bit harder. Um, you can use your table. Just be very careful, of course. You don't want to accidentally deform this piece more than you have to. We're just doing a straight 90 degree bend here. That's a little warped. I uh, tried to make that straight, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Huh. 
Win some, you lose some, I guess. I am not very happy with how that turned out. So I guess when you're doing this, you might want to be a little bit more careful than I was. Uh, if you want to get this to be a little straighter, unfortunately, I can't really do much now. It's too bad. There we go. And now we get to do more boxes. Now, again, I'm going to do one box, and I'll fast forward to where they're all complete. These are just the standard boxes we've been doing all along. Lots of these on this particular model. Okay, there we go. Happy, I, I think I'm okay with this. I wish it was a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and bend the rest of this down and make our square. Now, let's try to do this without warping any more of the piece. Um, this will be course become unwarped as we, uh, as we go through it. Let me see if I can just do this on the table. All right, now that we have this done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the generic shape here. There we go. I've kind of got the generic shape that I need to have here. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go through and um, kind of reshape this as we add on more detail, like we're about to do. But, you know, it is, again, it is what it is. Let's put this down. I'm going to grab our little box here. This is step 90. And um, it's actually not a box. This is kind of like a helicopter pad on top of a building, or, or at least think of it that way. Uh, we're going to bend this in first and then go to the bottom part of that little tiny ledge and grab that big piece there. Same thing with this side here. We're going to match that border. Remember, we need to bend that little bit in and then match the bottom. Now what we need to do is properly orientate this to the picture. So we can see this now the way it's supposed to be. We're going to take part 90 here and we're going to attach it first just for some good references. Okay, now that we got those attached there, we can go ahead and add a little bit more detail. This is where we start adding those little bits that we've been uh, building from earlier. Now uh, we need to figure out which one is which, and the way that I'm going to identify these boxes is by looking at the detail. And I think that these are actually kind of laid out in order from how we build them, except for the 22nd piece. And um, so this is the 20th one right here, and I can tell that just by how it's shaped. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up and try my best to get this attached correctly. There we go. Our first little bit of detail has been added onto our space station. Now let's add the next couple of ones. And what I've realized already, if you're going to make sure that everything is straight, you want to do it now because uh, one of my boxes is a little crooked there and I, and I can't really get to it now to correct it. So something you should think about when you're putting all these little bits of detail on. Okay, let's grab uh, part, uh, let's see here, part 21 is this guy right here. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and connect this piece down here and make it look good because um, it was telling me to wait, but I'm going to do it anyway. I went ahead and opened that back up. Just to make sure that I'm getting a really good connection on these. I don't want to have to uh, have any slips or anything. So, you know, double, triple checking is never a bad idea. There we go. Resealed up. That was a tricky little step, but I'm very happy to have it done. Let's go ahead and put that down there for right now. Let it be, and we can move on to step 30, which step 30 has us going with part 91 here, and we're going to be making this kind of all wavy. Let's grab this guy right here, and the uh, first thing we're going to do is kind of go through this whole bit, and we're going to make it as wavy as as possible and one thing to look at is actually there's two separate things there's the white and then there's the silver side 
Um, let's see how difficult this is going to be to get everything in the right place. Okay, so after forming both of these, what I've determined is you really do have to go right here where that little silver bit here connects, and you gotta flip that up, and then do that with every single one of these, and the silver bit here kind of falls into place. I don't know how much of that I actually got recorded because uh, I ran out of space on my card there, but basically um, it was really important I found towards the end to make sure that that one little bit was bent and once I did that and again it's just right here where the silver bit connects to the white bit um, that is really important to have bent correctly and then all of this will fall into place after okay now that we have this kind of done uh, we need to first of all um, we need to bend this in a way where we can get it to connect in so uh, we bend this up like this and then we bend these guys back there we go. And now that we have these two guys complete, we can move on to our next bit here, which is this guy. This is part 92. And in part 92, we're gonna just go ahead and bend uh, one side, and then we're gonna match the edges, just like we've done in previous builds here. And I do know that we're putting a little bit of detail on, but it's so small, um, I'm gonna wait till we have this form to do that. And that, of course, is part 93. Now with 93 here, be careful. Uh, you can actually very easily curve the uh, center here if you're not careful. I almost did myself. Actually, it's a little curved, just a tiny bit. If I can fix it just like that too. Now we attach this on. We attach with the uh, angled tabs. Now with that complete, we'll grab part 94 and we're gonna attach these two guys together. Now, um, one thing I'm gonna realize right away is that we have to angle these tabs or else we will never get them in correctly. Let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, let's see how well we did. Start with the top. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Uh, now we can attach these little tiny bricks here that we got to make. More boxes for us to go with. Make sure, of course, that we're bending these with the uh, engraving out. You don't want to accidentally bend the wrong way and then not be able to see that really cool detail. there we go awesome awesome we're just adding detail like crazy now let's put these little guys on that we did already here and uh, let's just see here again I always attach the one closer to the detail that we already have attached There we go. All attached and looking very pretty. Now we get to add these last two little bits on here. That's these two guys. And with these, we do a slight little bend just like that. And um, we are also going to bend these tabs down just ever so slightly. If you look, the insertion holes are just on the white there. We're going to insert these two. This might be a little difficult just given where the part is. There we go. And now 
I'm going to form this onto here just to make it look that much better. All right, there we go. All formed, looking really nice. And uh, now we need to move on to the next step, which is forming some cylinders here, which we've become very familiar with in this build. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just get in that shape here. There we go, our cylinder all complete. And uh, now this cylinder actually gets attached on the bottom here. Uh, let me make sure I do this correctly. There we go. And uh, it can only go on one way, so that makes it a little bit easier for us. Oh man, we are so close to a perfect, perfect, perfect insertion here. I'm gonna take uh, this tab and I'm gonna bend it just ever so slightly like that and see if I can get it in. Um, All right, there we go. And that is really connected, it's not moving around, so we know we're sturdy enough to move on to the next step. Now what we're gonna be doing here is taking this little piece, and just like before, we're gonna make a perfect little square. Boom. And now we're going to attach that perfect little square on to our piece. All right, there we go. That little bit attached. Now we can go ahead and put this other little piece on here on the back. There we go all attached that looks really cool and uh now that we have this attached we get to put it on to our main space station this might be tricky actually i'm anticipating this whole bit here to be incredibly tricky and we're going to be very careful not to misshape any of the things that we have hanging off of our model like these little panels here Go ahead and grab all of our pieces that we're gonna be putting together. So the first one we're gonna be doing is this guy here, um, then this one here, and then this guy right here. So let's grab our main body. This thing looks so awesome. And uh, now we're going to uh, flip it upside down like this. And uh, this is where we start attaching the pieces. Now uh, let's go ahead and grab our bar. And, um, whew, that little bit is uh, tricky trying to get all that in there. Um, this is definitely a bit where you have to be very careful. I mean, take every bit of time that you have here uh, when placing this together, because I mean, you, you really do have to take it. Uh, now we can go ahead and move in with this bar. Um, let's see if we can get the top tabs in first, and then we'll go for the bottom ones. There we go, got that little bar in there now. That was actually a lot easier than the previous step. And now we gotta add the last little bit of detail here. Um, this is the uh, Canadian arm portion here. And um, I'm hoping that this one goes a little bit easier than the uh, previous one did because I'm trying really hard here not to accidentally mess up or break anything. And that's easier said than done. Okay, there 
is our International Space Station that we built so far. This is really coming along and looking really good with all these little bits of detail. I'm also really happy with how currently how straight it is. I'm hoping that it keeps this straight. We'll see how it goes. Let's move on to our next step, but for that, we need more parts. Okay, there we go. Our cutters are away and we have all of our pieces needed for steps 33 through 40. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing step 98, or should I say part 98, and we're going to be bending this guy in half. So, let's commit to this. Oh, no. Okay, be very careful when bending this piece. I'm going to use my table here. because You don't want to warp it. Okay, there's our fold. Looking good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this little box here at the top. Just gonna tidy these up a little bit. And then we're gonna bend these little tabs here over and secure them onto the panel. All this does is just keep everything uh, nice and tightly together. Sometimes with this metal, it likes to pull apart. And so by having these little tabs here that uh, kind of secure everything in place, it stops that from happening. Um, now we're gonna do the next one here. Same thing as before. Like this, there we go. Awesome. There's our two uh, kind of bent, ready to go. I'm going to just kind of straighten that out a little bit there because we don't want any bends in the metal like I said before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to form these guys here, which uh, they can be tricky because they're so skinny. They're very easy to warp and uh, misshape. Now there's tools that are existing uh, that can help you with these straight guys. That's this guy right here. And uh, how this tool works is you place the piece into the center, and then you just uh, press it down. You see, you follow that fold line, and then you can press it firmly and play. You know that you're gonna have a perfect 90 degree bend. So there we go, there's the one side. Okay, now we can attach this guy onto our piece here. There we go. There's our uh, first little bit there all done. Uh, now we need to add on the second one here. That's done the same way. So let's go ahead and skip to where I've already formed these four pieces and they're all connected together. Okay, and here is our dual solar panel all completed. It was the same thing as these guys right here. That's why I went ahead and just kind of fast forwarded through that whole motion. Now, these guys here are all bent the same way. That's uh, part 102. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is how to do one so that you can understand that all the other ones are bent exactly the same way. All we do is just follow those little uh, lines that we have on this piece. And you can go all the way around. And we're just basically connecting the corners here just like that. And then we're gonna fold that little top over. There we go. All that little detail is now complete right there. Pretty simple, right? Now the next ones we're gonna be doing here are, um, well, we're creating these little X's. 
So what we're gonna do is kind of bend this down. And then these guys here in the center get bent straight down. So where the tabs are, those get bent down straight 90 degrees, while the other ones are bent slightly outward. There we go. Just do that four times. And there's our last one there. I love being done the uh, repeat detail. It drives me a little bit nutty, I'm not gonna lie. There's that, and now we're gonna grab this guy. Now, this might look very familiar to you because we've already shaped things very similar to it already. The first thing we're gonna be doing is attaching some of that brown or some of that detail that we just formed a couple moments ago. All right, there's those two little bits of detail on. Now we're gonna put this part down here to the side and we're gonna start work on this guy down here. Let me take the, I don't know how little doggy hairs got on there, but they did. Okay. Now, just like before, we're gonna grab this little guy here and we are going to bend down either side because this is kind of like a little hump. And um, same with this one here, we're gonna make a little bit of a little shape there. That works perfectly. Now we grab this guy here. And there we go. Cool. Put that down to the side here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more of those little bits of detail that we've already formed here um, onto this. Um, now, one thing that we're gonna do though right now before I add those little green bits on is we're gonna go and form this last little bit of detail. This last little BT bit of detail is number 108. All right, and there is our added detail and everything on part 106. Now that we have this complete, we can put all of this together and um, this will be interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Now, uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna bend, you know what? We're actually gonna wait. We're gonna wait to bend those until everything's attached and then I'll go through and bend them because they're, they're pretty easy to do now that I know how to do them. Uh, now I'm gonna bend this out just a little bit here and that's to help me out. If I get them bend them back later, I'll do that. But right now that's, that's good to me. There we go. And that is how we attach those solar panels. Um, now we need to move on to the next little bit. That involves this guy here being attached. There we go. All right, that uh, playing with those little silver bits is definitely tricky. And, and actually, before putting these solar panels on, I highly recommend, highly recommend forming those so you're not playing too much around these solar panels. All right, now that we have this uh, kind of done, it's time to go and attach our awesome, and I mean awesome, looking solar panels. Let's go attach these other ones here. They go on the back. There we go. And now that we got these guys attached, I'm going to twist these tabs. I know it's just to fold them, um, but I'm gonna twist them for right now. I will come back a little bit later, and if they need to be bent down, then we'll bend them down. That looks great. And uh, now that we have this done, we need more parts. And there we have it, all of our pieces needed to build the International Space Station. Now, looking at this, you might say to yourself, 
hey, some of those pieces are already built. And you're right. A lot of this detail was already repeated from the first time that we built it. And rather than kind of bore you and show you all that again, I took the liberty of going ahead and building it. Now, if you have any questions on these steps that I've skipped over, feel free to make a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have about these steps. Now, the one thing I didn't do was connect all of this together because this was something that I'm sure a lot of you might need some help with, although I know it's a lot of the same stuff. So let's go ahead and address something that I did first wrong. Looking at this right here, this is the satellite dishes. And one thing, or sorry, correction, the solar panels. And what I did wrong here was I didn't realize that there's supposed to be two sides here that have the detail here on the outside. And then this side here is the flat side. And the other side has the same thing, two details here on the other side. What I noticed is there's only certain pieces that can go. And for somehow, I don't know how, I got them mixed up. So I had to take this whole thing apart and reattach it together. Don't make my mistake double check before you put the panels on that they're going on the proper way so you don't have to worry about um, possibly breaking any pieces. This is already kind of a finicky build and to make it worse is just not fun. So knowing that, let's do this right here. I'm going to grab this little guy here. I've already gone ahead and bent these little guys and we're going to go and attach the panels. Now, like I said before, it's important to make sure that we're putting this in the proper orientation so that this whole model looks right. So we're going to double and triple check to make sure that we're doing this correctly. Um, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put this guy on because um, no, you know what? We're going to go back to these guys and uh, I'm going to make sure that I have the proper orientation of this piece and I do. And um, what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm doing it like this. So the first one, we're going to do black here. There we go those are attached now we need to add on the side here and the important thing to remember is that when we're putting the side on uh, that we're not putting the engraved side that's the one that has the white right here uh, in a visible area but it's all steel here so we want to make sure you only want to see silver as we place this into the side Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I realize that these are brown and I'm supposed to have the blue side up. I get that, I understand that, but I'm okay with these being brown. You know, I wasn't gonna go through and have to redo the whole thing again. Um, if you wanna have yours on the brown side, you have yours on the brown side. If you wanna have them on the blue side, you got them on the blue side, that's up to you. And um, that's the way I'm taking it. It's something that I did wrong or um, maybe personalize it myself. I don't know how you wanna look at it, but either way, I like the way that this looks. We need to move on to the next part, which is gonna be putting on uh, part 109, uh, which is back at step 41. I didn't put this one on yet because I wanted to show you something. These parts are labeled something a little bit different. You'll see that one says uh, A here and the other one says B, okay? So it's important to know that if you're doing the A side and you're doing the B side, which one's which? The B one is gonna go on the one we just built and the A is gonna go on the one we built from before. So let's go ahead and do that. It's telling me to put the non-engraved side here. There we go. That's our two parts attached. Now uh, we need to put our space station together, guys. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit intimidated by this only because this is such an awesome looking build. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this upside down and I'm going to attach this to the International Space Station. You gotta be really careful with these guys here. It's so easy to accidentally bend them out of shape. One side finished. Now we gotta do the other one. This is so, I feel like this is so um, 
breakable. Like, I have to be so careful with everything that I'm doing. It's crazy. There we go. All of these guys are attached. Now I'm gonna wait to fiddle with this too much until I get the stand built. But I'm gonna put this down right here. That looks beautiful, unreal, it's such a great model. Let's go over here and start bending this out. Now, we've already kind of bent a lot of this kind of stuff. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna bend this last, but I'm gonna put it upside down here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna build these guys here. These are pretty simple. We're just bending these guys in half. Attach our feet here. Now, two of these posts are small, two of these posts are big. It is important to realize which one you're dealing with. I'm gonna bend these guys down. There we go. Now, how I'm gonna bend these curves is I'm going to do something like this for right now, uh, just because I really don't know how much I need to curve it. But I am, I am, however, bending every single piece of the metal there. That should be good. Grab this guy here, doing the same thing. Just doing a nice little curve. Okay. And now with our three legs built, we can put them on to our base here. And it's important that we put the right ones in the right place. Now, um, the smaller one, which is part 48, uh, will go towards the rear of the, uh, of the orb, of the orb. Now, part 48 is gonna to go to the rear of the earth. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that one. That's the one we just bent there. It has the least of the uh, support features on this one here of the feet. And uh, because this part here is gonna be displayed, we need to be very careful not to accidentally scratch the metal. There we go. Now that we got that done, we can go ahead and start bending some of these uh, other pieces around here. Now, I always go for the longer pieces, although this guy's gonna be in my way. So um, I typically always try to bend the long pieces first. Uh, this just makes everything a lot easier for me. There we go. Our stand is complete. Now, how does this go on our stand? Flipper, oh my goodness, beautiful model. Absolutely beautiful. I think it goes on just like that. And there we go, Groove Builders, the International Space Station. Beautiful model.